So when we look at structures that have what are called heteroatoms or non-carbon atoms in a ring, we have to sort of think about where we count our lone pairs. So this compound right here is called pyridine. It's a very stable solvent. This set of electrons is not counted because if I draw this structure sort of to the side, and so I'm going to look at it to the side, here's that lone pair. It's not part of the pi system. Here's the double bond. That is the p overlap. Here's the other double bond. That is the pi bond and this one right here. So all of these talk to each other and this one is not in the ring. So it's not counted. And then if you looked at oxygen, this is another solvent called THF, tetrahydrofuran. One of the double bond, one of the lone pairs is counted and one is not. So again, if we take this structure and put it to the side, see if I can do it so it makes sense. One of them will be talking to the other pi bonds and one will not. So this one's not in the ring and this one is. So this structure and this structure are both aromatic. So this is a structure that's on the summary doc document of one of the DNA bases, guanine. All of the DNA bases are aromatic and it's instructive to count the pi electrons and look at the nitrogen pi electrons. So if you have a nitrogen that's an sp3 nitrogen, you're going to count this lone pair. You count this pi bond. This one, this pi bond is like the one in pyridine, so you don't count this. And then you're going to count that um, pi bond. Count this, hi there's Belle, shut up Belle. Sorry about that, she's out of the room right now. So let's get back. We're going to count this set of lone pairs because it's in the ring. We'll count this pi bond because it's part of the pi system. This set of lone pairs doesn't count. It's like the lone pair in pyridine. And now when we count up our pi electrons in guanine, we have two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 pi electrons. The structure is cyclic, planar, and conjugated. So guanine is an aromatic compound.